What's going on everybody? It's Tony Jones here from EXP Realty. We are here in Beach Grove, Indiana. Beautiful Beach Grove. This is in the south side of Indianapolis, small little suburb. I caught wind from my friend that this property is getting ready to be sold on the market. So I wanted to get a tour in, see if we can get this deal closed off market. So I got my guy here today. We're gonna to walk through and check this place out. So come on, tag along. Good afternoon, Tony. How What's are we up, doing brother? today, bro? How you doing today, man? Where'd so, you find us? So it's a two bedroom, one bath. Currently as it sits right now, I really want to get crazy in this place, man, and open up some walls. As you see, we got a lot going on here. So as we walk through, man, it's kind of tell me what I'm looking at. Uh, it's kind of bring the vision to life for me. It, kind of it looks like we've had a fire, but uh, I've not seen anything. So, yeah, but yeah. small living room. It looks like we've got great hardwood floors underneath here. I don't know if that's something that we're gonna keep or not, but- We may, we may. We've definitely got hardwood floors underneath of it. Small layout, we'll go to the kitchen. Real tight kitchen, very, very tight kitchen. You gotta love the 60s. Yeah, right, right. 60s. So I think this is so small, man. Like, what would you recommend us doing here to kind of open this up? So again, we're gonna completely gut this out down to the frame. Uh, new kitchen cabinets. I want to see what's behind this bump out and what's behind here. We've got a crazy corner going up. Maybe we can find some room here because it's a little tight coming right, through here. Right, right. All new cabinets, new layout. And you know, the kitchen, sell the house. Kitchen and master bedroom. But that's because that's the wives are involved, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. going back to the, the family room. Oh, this man. is uh, what is this? This is the the source of all the charcoal and soot through the house. So this was venting inside of the attic. It looks like it, or inside the living room. I don't know how it's not burned down. Wait till we find it. Pull that <laughs> ceiling down. So again, we're in another room. It's got our '80s paneling in it. Um, we'll we'll get this completely out. Open it up. You think we can? You think we can get a, a, a additional bedroom and a bathroom out of this space? We can do it. We do it. We can do it. So what I would like to do, and you can kind of just tell me if this is possible or not, I would like to put a bathroom there, another bedroom here, and then kind of push that back. Is that possible? None of this is load bearing, so this bedroom we could definitely take the room out of, which it's really large for for the bedrooms here in Beach Grove. Right. So we could take some room out of here. The bay window, we'll take that out, put a single window in, eight by 10 bathroom right here, shower along the back wall, nice double vanity and toilet. There you go, there you go. Okay, so I can, I can get, I can turn this into a three, two for sure. For sure. For sure, all right, all right. Well, yeah, man, let's check out the basement, see what we got going on down there at that foundation. So Tony, we have a typical beach grow basement down here. It's not finishable. This is just gonna be storage and, and mechanicals down here. So I can't finish this until livable square footage. No livable square footage down here. Short ceilings. We've always got water issues in these basements. Looks like we've got some definite cracking and some block work that's gonna to have to be done. New windows in the uh, all the way around the basement. So overall, what do you think? Is this doable? Is it Mechanicals to appear to be in good shape, newer water heater, really newer furnace. Um, it looks like it's got good bones. Okay. All right, man. This is currently a bedroom, but this is not the master. I really would like to turn this into the master. I don't know if we are able to push that wall back, if that's low bearing or not, and then make this the master suite. Is that possible? So easily. We'll take the wall behind us. We'll push that into that really large room again. Uh, so we're taking from the left and the south. Okay. Um, enlarge this room, okay. uh, which will go into this master bedroom or bathroom, which is currently a Jack and Jill situation. That was real common in these builds then. So we'll frame this wall in, gut this out, new bath, new layout, nice little vanity, mm -hmm. some gorgeous flooring. So pretty much we're saying we're just going to flip it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it from and frame this wall in, move the vanity and the toilet to this side. Sounds good. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot, because this is a little too tight. Yeah. Yeah, this is too tight. All right, well, that works, man. The roof appears to be newer. Uh, the great thing is it's 
there was a storm in 2016 that came through, so a lot right. of the houses in the right. neighborhood got new roofs right. and, and exterior parts. Um, again, the house got great bones. We could turn it to a 3-2. Okay. Um, so what's the what's the damage you think is gonna? So be we've for this got one? we've got the foundation work that has to go in the basement. You're probably around six thousand for that. Okay. Uh, demo, we're three thousand for that. Framing, we're in the the five to six thousand for that. Uh, electrical and plumbing, you're in the six to sixty five hundred for the two of them together. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. So it's new windows. So it's going, and we need all new windows. All new windows. How much do yeah. you think that's going to cost us? We're probably close to five thousand in the new windows. Gotcha. Okay. So ballpark after everything is said and done, where do you thinking we're going to end up here? The thirty to thirty-five range. Thirty to thirty-five range. Okay. All right. Well, that gives me something to go back to, man. Thanks for having Thanks, the time son. to come out. Uh, I'll connect with you later on today, man, and see if we can we can agree to a price on this and get you working. Get this thing bought. Let's get it going. Let's go. Hey, Kate, how are you? It's Tony. Hey, Tony, what's up here? Hey, I just left 18th Avenue. Uh, I like it. That's a nice, nice little house. So what's the what's the story on that one? Uh, yeah, basically it's in the same situation. So um, it's mother, she has mother and stepped away. Um, and, you know, obviously the property needs quite a bit of work and they don't really have, you know, the tolerance level for that. So um, basically they're asking 65. Obviously it has to be a cash deal. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, me and my contractor just walked through it. I, I'm interested. I will be willing to do a cash deal, quick close, 10 days uh, max, if, if we can get this closed for 56000 Okay, okay. Yeah, hey, I, I definitely present that to him and see what they said. I'll get back to you and let you know, okay? Okay, please do. Thanks, Kate. This is a great, this is right. a great yeah. off-market property. Please keep them coming. <laughs> All right, you be good. Day five of the demo, we're officially complete. Uh, now that the walls are open, now it's time for us to get in here and see where we can put stuff, right? This is a two one, and like I said, we need to add an additional bedroom, an additional bathroom. Uh, these, these homes in this neighborhood, they really weren't built for functionality for you to be able to flow through the house. So we need to figure out where we're gonna add that additional space and those additional rooms. So let's go in here and check it out. I know you had your previous layout. We've talked about opening this up to one big living space um, as we've got the demo done and we've cleaned it getting it cleaned out i'm coming to think that that third bedroom located in the back mm -hmm. is just going to be too tight uh, with the back door back there so i think that we keep this room again fill in that wall so it's not a jack and jill bathroom anymore um, make that bathroom a master suite but i think we've got to keep this as a as a front bedroom my only problem with that is there's not enough living space here there's i mean this is tight this is small so if i'm a family coming in and i have you know five person family two adults three kids or even four where's my separation where's my living space that's kind of why i was wanting to do that but you know and then also is this going to be a bigger bedroom than the one back there like i really just I don't know it'll be that. it'll be two feet wider and about two feet longer than what that third bedroom was in the back. And so this would be the only living room, living space that they would have. It is, but I got a better idea. So originally, man, we were going to put the sink right here oven was still going over there and then we were going to put the refrigerator right there now that we got that open is that still okay or do you have a better idea better idea we're going to move the sink over here we'll put one single window here 
put the sink directly below it, L shape the, ki the kitchen out. It'll just give us a more open flow through feel instead of being apart and moving around. So moving the sink from there to there, a lot more cabinet space. A lot more cabinet space. So now that we, we may keep that bedroom, how can we really utilize this space? I think the only thing that we're missing at this point in time is a laundry room on the main level. As you know, a lot of houses in this area, they just don't have it. Um, so can we make that work back here and still keep our, our uh, full-size bathroom? Yep, so we'll, we'll get a full-size bath here, uh, bath and shower, vanity, toilet, all in the, the eight by six here. On the back side of that, we'll make this a uh, mud room, put washer and dryer up here, uh, maybe some built-ins under the window over there. That way, when you're coming in the back door, you've got somewhere to set your stuff instead of coming in and, and hitting a bedroom. Gotcha. Okay. And by all this, I still need that master to be the biggest room. So with us adding this, it's not going to take away from any of the square footage over nope, there. Nope. We're still going to take away from this big bedroom behind us. Enlarge the master okay. a couple feet each way. Okay. Bring it this way. Take this wall in. It'll give us a nice size mud room and comfortable. Are we putting one window in each room, one window inside of the uh, laundry room, one window inside of the bathroom, or how nope. is that going to change now? We're just going to put one one nice size window in the in the laundry room. Okay. And then uh, the shower and bathtub will be on the back wall. On so the back wall, so no, no window. No need. window there. And that's not like we don't need that for cold or anything. No. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Will that work?